Allianz presents Football for Life. Today, the changing face of youth development. In football, it's not about egos, it's about success. World class has to be our benchmark. To later become world class, you have to start young, in fact, in the youth academy. Bayern München's executive board member has set the bar high. Typical for him. Matthias Sammer, perfectionist, free spirit, lateral thinker. Based on my experience, German football needs to grasp very quickly that we simply cannot use a standard approach in dealing with players. Sama gained his experience as a player, coach and technical director at the German FA. Now Germany's record title winners want to use his ideologies to reform their own youth development department. These include, for example, one system of play for all age groups and coaches who mold and nurture each player individually. One player may be technically excellent already, another not, but all have to train. One might do a bit more, maybe the other a bit less, because the one who's currently technically excellent may have a problem with movement or pace, areas in which the other one is stronger. Sporting development is just one aspect. Training players individually means analyzing their characters too. To have the courage to divide young people up based on their strengths and weaknesses as you see them, for which, of course, there are various psychological tests. What's a player's personality? Is he sensitive or tough? Is he confident or does he tend to be careless? If you're exceptionally talented at 15, it's not a given that at 18 or 19, you'll be playing in the Bundesliga 1st Division or in the 2nd Division. The 1st Division is always the goal. It's what all footballers work towards, including the rough diamonds at Feyenoord, to play one day in the De Kuyp Stadium as Roy McKay once did. The former Bayern striker now trains the under-15 team, preparing them for a professional career. For every single player, patience is important. If you look at Feyenoord over the last few years, a lot of players have been released, partly due to financial problems and partly to gain match practice. That's part of our job as coaches too, to loan out players so that they can improve. Some players develop faster, while others need a bit of time at another club. How a player will develop is hard to tell in advance. Mackay himself developed over 17 years as a pro into every keeper's nightmare. As a striker, he scored a total of 256 league goals in Holland, Spain and Germany. With his coaching career, he's now at the start. In order to one day be able to coach the Feyenoord first team, he has to work his way through the youth academy. Unlike in Germany, that's mandatory in Holland. I took part in training for 17 years as a player and there are naturally still certain routines that I remember. I try to incorporate these now into the coaching with the younger players. Not everything can be adapted in youth team training. Especially not if the young players are not up to it, due for instance to a lack of fitness or poor coordination. Some shortfalls are the result of woefully inadequate school sport. It's very apparent that school sport in Holland is being neglected. You can simply see it. The things that they haven't learned in school sport they need to catch up on later. That's why school sport is very important. This problem is not limited to Holland. Doing sport just once a week in school serves little purpose. In that regard, I think, and this is looking at things very objectively, here in Germany we deserve no more than a 2 out of 10. School sport is on its knees and is hindering physical development. 
The state must, after all, always have an interest in mental and physical development, regardless of whether somebody opts to play high-level sport or not. Targeted individual training of all age groups, one system of play for every team, assessing and categorizing players. Who's a leader, a team player, an individualist? We must guarantee that at Bayern München, the work we do with 10-year-olds is right for their age and world-class. To later become world-class, you have to start young. The future for clubs lies in developing their own players. Football for Life was presented by Allianz.